does it take to uh, sort of sustain a comeback like that? I know you guys were down by the same versus Phoenix. Um, well, let's be honest. That first half, we were awful. And, uh, you know, I asked our players, you know, at halftime, there was no rah-rah speech. You know, I didn't break any backboard or clipboards or anything. And uh, the only thing that changed was, like, we finally started playing hard. I mean, like, yeah, there's a – hopefully you can notice it – a noticeable difference first half and second half with their energy and their effort and how much we cared. And, you know, I thought Jamal Murray in the second half, I thought Nicole Jokic second half, as well as everybody else that contributed to the comeback win. Uh, but we just started playing harder than them. And in the first half, we were on our heels. Midway through the third quarter, like I said, fellas, like, we can't trade baskets when you're down by 20. You know, something's got to improve. And then we finally got defense into the game, held them to 21 points in the fourth quarter. Um, got out and ran, took care of the ball. And uh, I think second half, they only had two fast break points, which is an issue at, at halftime. So, uh, yeah, I thought Nicole and Jamal uh, kind of led the charge. And guys off the bench, you know, I thought CB, Peyton, Reggie, Zeke, their defense and energy as well in that end of third going into the fourth quarter was, uh, was terrific. How would you describe Jamal's ability to sort of turn it on after a quiet stretch? He'll have some of these games I don't think he scored until about a minute left in the first half this time. It seems like he has kind of a knack for turning it on when he needs to, whatever, whenever that may be. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he has a knack, and he's a guy that like, literally just needs to see one go in. And then all of a sudden he's shooting into a big basket. Um, but I, I felt like not just the, you mentioned the shot man. He had 12 assists tonight, one turnover. I mean, the pass to KCP for a three, the pass to Michael Porter for a three. Like, yes, he's having a game, but that's 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 really important where you can have a game scoring. Next thing you know, you get two guys on you and have the courage to give the ball up and trust your teammates. You know that, that that's such an important part of his game and 26 and 12, five boards, two blocks, and Nicola, the 35, 17, 12, six steals and two blocks. Uh, those guys just uh, were, were incredible in the second half. Do I like the fact that we didn't play at all in the first half? No, but I'm really proud with you know our guys having the courage to not let go and just go, all right, let's get ready for Miami. We stayed with it, we stayed with it. And uh, there was never any panic, which is what I loved about it as well. Do you think the first half was a little bit of a hangover, maybe even to that second half against Utah? Could have been. I mean, I, I think maybe a, a carryover from that game, where obviously we did not play anywhere close to our standards, and then find out a few hours before the game that Emmanuel Quickly is out, Gary Trent is out, Chris Boucher is out, and then all of a sudden, and Scotty Barnes is already out, Yaka Pirtle is out. And I think sometimes it's human nature, and, and part of coaching is trying to fight human nature, is, okay, we should, you know, we're pretty good at home. We'll get this one. But you've got to earn it. Like, showing up is never going to win you a game. You have to earn each and every win. And fortunately, in that second half, we had uh, enough fight in us to go out there and earn it and take that, uh, take that game. The unwavering belief and confidence that your your team has, that the guys have, like, where do you think that comes from to be down 22 and to to very, very much believe that you guys could come back or that you're still in the game? Yeah, I mean, I think it comes down to been there, done that. Yeah, I mean, it's um, you know, it's the one thing if you've never been down 20 and, and come back in one, you'd be like, oh, can we really do this? There's a little bit of doubt there. For our guys, I don't think there's any doubt at all. I think we know that we're always within striking distance when we defend as well as I know we can. And then offensively, we're capable of putting up big, big numbers in a hurry, especially when you're getting stops. I mean, that's the defense is kind of what starts all that. So again, we had 21 more fast break points tonight, which is right what we're averaging now in the 10 games since the All-Star break, which is just an incredible number for us. But I think that the confidence comes from the experience. And knowing that, you know, whether it's at Golden State or whatever, any game you can go back and look at, Katie, uh, we, we've come back and won games before. So there's never any doubt. There's never any quit. In the first, in the first half when you said that you know, obviously wasn't much going, to still have that interior connection, that high level between Jokic and AG, what does that say about their connection that, like, that find is kind of always there no matter how much everything else is kind of struggling? Oh, yeah, there's, there's comfort. I mean, that comfort comes from, you know, repetitions, you know, over, you know, years. You know, you just don't build that, you know, in one season. That connectivity and chemistry that you mentioned is just built over many, many uh, moments on the court together. 
And whether you're down 22 or you're up six, up 30, uh, I think that doesn't affect that chemistry. And the confidence that each of those two has in each other and everybody else in the court. I mean, I, I think the, the, those two passes that Jamal made, I mean, the KCP three was huge. The Michael Porter three was huge. And, um, you know, that, that, I, that I'm really proud of that because that shows that our guys, no matter what's going on, they continue to trust in each other. And that's such an important intangible trait to have. Do you feel that trust is 